you know, I'm not interested in opinions. I'm not interested in beliefs. I'm interested in the science. A double-blind, placebo-controlled, randomized study found that body weight and belly fat were significantly reduced adding just a single tablespoon of vinegar to one's daily diet. But is there any benefit if, to vinegar consumption if you're not overweight? Well, their triglycerides normalized, and on the two tablespoons a day dose there was a dip in blood pressure, uh, but those effects may have just been because of the weight loss. Other than taste, is there any benefit to normal weight individuals sprinkling vinegar on their salad? What about vinegar for blood sugar control? If you feed people a massive amount of sugar, a half cup of table sugar, as their blood sugar spike, their artery function can become impaired. And the higher the blood sugars go, the more the arteries take a hit. There's a drug, though, that can block sugar absorption, and by blunting the blood sugar spike with the drug, you can prevent the arterial dysfunction, demonstrating that it's probably good for your heart if you don't have big blood sugar spikes after meals. And indeed, how high your blood sugar spike after a meal is a predictor for cardiovascular mortality. So do people who eat lots of high glycemic foods, like sugary foods and refined grains, tend to have more heart attacks and strokes? Yes and they appear more likely to get diabetes. Uh, but maybe people who eat lots of Frosted Flakes and Wonder Bread also have other bad dietary habits. The diets that have been put to the test in randomized controlled trials and proven to prevent diabetes are the ones focusing on cutting down on saturated fat and ramping up the consumption of fiber-rich whole plant foods, such as fruits, vegetables, and whole grains, without specific regard to lower or higher glycemic loads. The drug has been put to the test, though, and blunting one's mealtime blood sugar spikes does seem to reduce the risk of developing diabetes, as well as reduce the risk of heart attacks and high blood pressure. So is there any way to prevent these blood sugar spikes without having to take drugs? Well, one way would be to not sit down to a half a cup of sugar. <laughs> yes, the drug can slow the progression of your atherosclerosis, Instead of the arteries going to your brain narrowing this fast on the drug, they only narrow this fast. But wouldn't it be better to eat a diet that actually reverses heart disease, reverses diabetes? The healthiest diet to prevent the meal-related blood sugar and fat spikes, the oxidation, inflammation, is a diet centered around whole plant foods. But what if you really want a bagel? Instead of spreading drugs on it, spreading on some almond butter may help blunt the blood sugar spike from refined carbs. And another option is to dip your baguette in some balsamic vinegar. The consumption of vinegar with meals was evidently used as a home remedy for diabetes before drugs came along, but wasn't put to the test until 1988. After all, how much money can be made from vinegar? Well, according to the Vinegar Institute, millions of dollars. But a single diabetes drug, like Resulin, can pull in billions uh, before it was pulled from the market for killing too many people by shutting down their livers. The drug company still made off like a bandit, having to pay out less than a billion to the grieving families for covering up the danger. No liver failure from a peanut butter smeared bagel, though, cutting the blood sugar response in half, and the same with vinegar. If you chug down four teaspoons of apple cider vinegar diluted in water, you get that same blunting of the spike, and you get the additional advantage over the nuts of lowering insulin levels in the blood, something peanut butter apparently can't do, but presumably better than a bagel with locks as fish causes triple the insulin response, or red wine, which also increases insulin levels, though not as much as the fish, and also shoots up triglycerides, though de-alcoholized red wine, non-alcoholic wine, doesn't have the same problem. Okay, but what about vinegar? Not only may a tablespoon a day tend to improve cholesterol and triglycerides over time, vinegar can drop triglycerides within an hour of a meal, along with decreased blood sugars and the insulin spike, potentially offering the best of all worlds.